Here we have an iPad Pro 9.7 inch. It was mailed in because of no power or nothing shows up on the screen. It looks like customer attempted a battery replacement and of course removed the screen. We do not know what's going on with this tablet, so let's work on it together. Before we start working on the motherboard, we should disconnect that battery so we can disconnect any voltage from going onto the motherboard while working on it. Okay, so the battery is out and now we can safely work on this motherboard. I want to inspect the FEC connector area of the board. And uh, right off the bat, we see a burn mark right here. Burn mark right here. We do not know if the FEC connector is good or not. Can we work with this FEC connector? Because I really do not want to change this FEC connector. I really do not want to change it, and it looks like we have to change it. Okay, so we need to change the FEC connector. We need to change this blown filter. And we do not know the condition of the pads. Let's continue with the inspection. God knows what else is wrong with this board. Backlight diodes. Probably both of them are fried. Great. Meter in diode mode. This diode is good and this diode is not good. I mean, just like I thought, the whole trace is gone. Right now what I want to do is desolder this FEC connector and then we'll take care of the filter and then we'll do diodes last. And out. What we're going to do is heat up the board from the bottom since there's nothing on bottom of the board except for the charging port that we just bent a little bit over so we can safely heat up the board from the bottom. I have no flux right now, it's okay. I want solder to melt a bit so the connector can make a connection and then I'll add flux. Let's see if the connector made a connection, yes, solid, now we can add flux. The connector is only solid from few pins. and we should be good. And all 
all pins are solid. Very nice. Very nice. All pins are solid. Perfect. We did an excellent job. What I did was bend the charging port flex a little bit down like this so we can hear out the board from the bottom here and the board from the bottom is empty so nothing will be affected from here I put aluminum tape on the flex cable so we do not desolder that cable by mistake and the connector is soldered on perfectly better than factory okay so now since it's gonna be impossible to solder a filter onto the very tiny via we're gonna run a jumper wire to complete the circuit because we need to complete the circuit in order for backlight to work this tiny 201 filter will have minimal effect on the circuit so we can replace it with a jumper wire I think we should be good I mean you do not know how tiny this via is microscopic line but I think we did a great job and we do have a connection the way I see it Let's replace the diode and we'll test the tablet. Hopefully it will work. We have one diode to change, to replace. You can tell how that diode is blown. And here's a diode. You can find this on our website. And the same diode is used for almost all iPads. Okay, and the job is done. So what we're going to do is mask this exposed wire here. We do not have to, but I feel better if I mask it. And we're going to get our UV light so we can cure this mask. Both the solder mask and UV light are sold on our website as well as the diode that we just replaced. Also the filters. We did not change the filter here because we do not have a pad to work with. So we solder the wire. The flux that we used is also sold on our site. Because in every single video people ask, what flux are you using? What jumper wires are you using? What solder mask are you using? UV light, so on and so forth. Everything is on our website. Just log in to northridgefix.com, click on shop, and everything is there. We're exposing solder mask to UV light for about 30, 40 seconds. It doesn't look like UV light is shining on the board, but it is.
Okay, so I'm gonna give this to Big Boss to reassemble, and we'll see. Uh. All right, so Big Boss reassembled the tablet, and I told him not to test it. I'm gonna do it on camera, and. everything is connected so let's go ahead and test and see if, if it will work if all that hard work went for nothing I mean I have absolutely no doubt that the battery is dead absolutely no doubt because when did we ever get a battery that is charged oh <laughs> It's working. Awesome. Awesome. Touch. Zero, seven, one, two, five. We do not want to enter the wrong code, so let's go back. Test three, six, nine. Awesome. So, happy ending. All that work did not go for nothing. We replaced the LCD connector. For the backlight filter, we put a wire instead. And we also replaced a diode. I'm glad that everything worked out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.